Yeah, the question says, triangular sheet of paper, the lengths of whose sides are 20, 48 and 52 is cut into two pieces. If equal area by one straight cut, what would be the approximate maximum possible sum of perimeters of these two pieces? Tell me how do you do it? Two, being cut into two pieces of equal area by one straight cut. What is the maximum possible sum of perimeters? Now, maximize sum of perimeters obviously will keep a median on the smallest side because median on the smallest side is the largest. Okay? So, we'll keep a median on the smallest side. What are the, what are the sides, by the way? 20, 48, 52. So, it's going to be 20, sorry, 48, 20, and 52, like that. So, 52 is a right angle triangle. You can find out by Pythagoras. So, 48 and 20. All right? How do you know it's a right angle triangle? There's one way of doing, uh, one way of solving this. If you don't know triplets, I mean, obviously, this doesn't belong to any triplet as such. This belongs to even triplet, not odd triplets. So add the rest of the two sides, you'll get a square of half of the third one. So 48 and 52 gives you 100, that is a square of 20 by 2. That's why it's a Pythagorean triplet. Okay, again a rule of triplet. So you drop a median this way, this will become 10. 48 square is, how much 48 square, any idea? 2304, now you have Calci, but still you have Nmat, right? Plus 100. So you're going to be 2404. 2404 is approximately 49 square because 2401 is exactly 49 square. Okay, so it's 49. So now your lengths are known to you. 48, 10, 49. 49, 10, 52. Add all of that. What is the answer that you get? 218. That's the answer, 218. Please note it down. Okay, let's have a look at the question. In the given figure, altitude PS of the triangle PQR meet circumcircular triangle at T. HT is 3, H is the ortho center, what is the length of line segment HT? Okay, now have a look. Can I say one thing? PQR is equal to PTR? Angles in the same arc? Okay, let's assume this X, this will be 180 minus X. Yes, because these two are 90 in the quadrilateral. So even this will be 180 minus X. This is an exterior angle to this triangle. This is 90. So 180 minus X is 90 plus R. So R is 90 minus X. If R is 90 minus X, obviously you can say this 180 minus X, this is going to be how much? X. This is also X. These two triangles, common side, hypotenuse. And triangles are congruent. So sides, corresponding sides of congruent triangles, 3 each, will give you 6. In the figure below, Px is 12, Yz is 7. Perimeter of Pxy is 27. Find the perimeter of Pxz. Alright? First of all, by tangent second theorem, you have Px square is Py into Pz. Yeah? So 144 is something into the entire thing and that something into the entire thing differ by 7. Because in the first case is x and the later case is x plus 7. So it's going to be 16 and 9. So this is 9. 9 into 16. Clear? Now so the perimeter of Pxy is 27. Px you know. Py you know. You'll find xy. 6. How will you find xz? What Pythagoras? <laughs> so we go ahead. This angle is equal to this angle. Tangent second theorem. This angle is a common angle. The third angle is same. So therefore triangle P X Y is similar to angle P Z X. And with that you'll be able to find X Z is 8. And then the perimeter is going to be 8 plus 12 plus 16 which is 36, yeah. All right, uh, so now ABCD's paragraph, AB being two thirds of BC is a midpoint, blah, 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 whatever. So what you can do is you can prove triangle BFE, similar triangle BAC. And then accordingly you will get this as two by three and this will be seven by three. Okay, by using similarity ratios. BF by BA is BE by BC is FE by AC. 
right then you know that 7 by 3 x or whatever 7 by 3 parts or something is how much more 8 more than x so 7 by 3 minus x is 8 so you'll get 4x by 3 is 8 so you'll get x is 6 so 2x is 12 3x is 18 perimeter is 60 fair you would have gone the option way straight away it's 2 is to 3 the ratio perimeter would be 10 parts 10 parts means a multiple of 10 so 60 that is fair cool what we can do is we can focus only on the height nothing else so we can just join make an equilateral side of this is how much r 2r and r that is 4r side is 4r so height is going to be what is height height is root 3 by 2 into side side of us is 60 degree height is that much so 4r is root 3 by 2 side no 4r is side right so height is going to be root 3 by 2 4r that is 2 root 3 r that is this height this is r <coughs> this you can find easily how will you find that wait a minute it's not 2 r immediately yeah 36 90 theorem okay you can just join this join this or join any one of them this is 90 this is 30 this is going to be 60 yeah 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 side opposite is 60 degrees side over 30 degrees half the hypotenuse and you can find that so it will be 2 r and r is 3 r so 2 root 3 plus 3 r that is what the height of the equilateral triangle and then you can find the side and then you can find the area all right now see in a right angle triangle abc ac is 12 so hypotenuse is 12 defg is a rectangle with de4 this is 12 this is 4 area of triangle abc is not less than any right angle triangle with hypotenuse is 12 degrees this means this is a 45 45 90 why 45 45 90 45 45 90 will have the maximum area Area is product, product is greatest when the number is the same. So this is 12, I get 6 root 2, 6 root 2. Yes. Now, obviously you said this is equal to this equal to this. Which means if you notice carefully, this, this is like something that you can do. You can remove FEC. You can remove AGD. And that becomes the same square here. Right? So the total area is 36. This is one third of this. So we'll take one ninth of the area. One ninth of the area is how much? 36, one ninth, how much? Four. We'll take up four. 32 is going to be distributed in these three. These three is actually this and this. So we'll take half the area, 16. All right? Oh, I'll tell you quite quickly so that we can do something else. You'll notice carefully area of quadrilateral sides are 2, 5, 10, and 11 cannot be more than there's a catch here. Not wasting much time. The catch is 11 square plus 2 square is 10 square plus 5 square. Which means it's a right angle triangle with another right angle triangle. One side is 11, 2, one side is 10, 5. Both the hypotenuse is root 125. So the area here is half base height plus half base height. Because right angle can have a maximum area. You have 5, 5, 25. 25 plus 11, 36. It cannot go beyond 36. And that's the answer, 36. Clear? The catch here was squaring and checking for the hypotenuse. You can't make it equilateral because they're not equal. So you have to make it right angle. And that's how it's done.